what do you feel like we've learned in the 13 Great. iterations Great. of this uh, so far about what uh, what we need more of in yeah. Detroit and what businesses need more to succeed? So it's a really great question. You know, the, because we have this quarterly rhythm and this quarterly cadence, we're allowing you know ourselves to essentially evolve rapidly by you know by, by lessons learned from one quarter to the next. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'd say uh, one of the things that we learned sometime last year in, in, in seeking to quantify demand um, is that Detroit still has a tremendous amount of demand for goods and services. You know, that's clear unmet. across the board. Yeah. That's unmet, exactly. Yeah. And you know, nationally, internationally, a lot of folks are saying things like, "Oh, but online stuff that's going to take away brick and mortar retail, right?" In, in a lot of markets, that may be true. But Detroit, we still have so far to go mm -hmm. to have all the right balance of, mm -hmm. of, of good retail. Um, you know, and when 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 the conversation of equity and inclusion, you know, uh, you know, hits you know any uh, any 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 ear. Um, you know, the first thing I think about is access, mm -hmm. you know, access to goods and services, mm -hmm. um, access to neighborhood based employment. A lot of that stuff starts with retail. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we uh, in, in our study, you know, one of the things that we that we that we uh, learned was that even though we're spending a tremendous amount of money still uh, in the city of Detroit on our goods and services as, as residents, we're still spending billions, literally billions with a B outside of the city. Elsewhere, right. You know, in, in part because what we what we desire doesn't exist here.